Hi, I'm AJ. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you're really going to like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Tesla is a company that's known for making big promises for brand new spanking cars with great technology, but they're also known for not meeting the deadlines or the promises that Elon Musk makes for their company. Tesla is a company that has a lot of promise because of the changes that they're making in the car industry. And many of us believe that they will be one of the greatest car companies out there, especially dealing specifically with electric cars. And so there's a company where you can actually buy Tesla stock from, which has made very similar promises and which is also seen as a great company in the eyes of people of this current generation. And that company is Robinhood. Robinhood is also known for making promises or talking about features or products that they're going to have in the future, but not really meeting the deadline or the timeline that they expected for their new features. And so today I'm going to talk about three features of the Robinhood app that has many of us salivating and waiting for these specific features so that we can use them in the Robinhood app or so that many people may even switch to using Robinhood if they had these three features. And so the first feature is their cash management account. And so about a year and a half ago, I believe in either December or November of 2018, is when Robinhood first announced that they were going to have a cash management account. And for those that don't know, a cash management account is essentially a checking account. You can think of it as a savings account hybrid, but it is essentially where any additional money that is cash that is held in your investment account sits so that you can actually gain money from interest. And when they made their announcement, they announced that they were going to have a 3% interest rate for their cash management account. Now, as many of you may know, interest rates have dropped tremendously since the end of 2018. In fact, for most checking accounts and savings accounts, it is either near zero or definitely below the 1% or half a percent range currently. And so when Robinhood finally did make their cash management account available earlier this year in 2020, the interest rate that you actually receive was under 2%. In fact, currently the interest rate that you would receive with any cash held in your Robinhood account would be 0.3%. And so this is actually 90% lower than what they initially announced a year and a half ago when they first announced that they were gonna have a cash management account. Now, part of this isn't Robinhood's fault. How would anyone know that the interest rates would drop to almost zero just a year and a half later? However, there are other cash management accounts and savings accounts that do still have higher than a 0.3% interest rate. But not only that, if you were waiting just on Robinhood to have this account, you missed out on other free investment accounts like SoFi Invest, The Public App, and M1 Finance who already had a cash management account and were giving up to 2.5% interest on the cash that you held in those accounts. In fact, with the public app, they're still providing a 2.5% interest rate on any cash held in their account. And so over this one and a half year period, you could have been making money on the additional cash in your account if you had one of these other apps or if you had a separate savings account, whether it's online or traditional bank. But it is finally here and you do have the option if you're not currently on the wait list. Yes, there are still some people who are still on the wait list for that cash management account. But I have seen from other people on the internet and friends that I have that use Robinhood that they are now actually have access to the cash management account, but not everyone. And so the next feature that has been slowly rolling out is fractional share trading. If you're not familiar, fractional share trading is the ability to buy into any stock without having to buy a full share of that stock. So let's say if you wanted to buy Apple stock, which is currently around $250 per share, you wouldn't actually have to buy a full share in order to own Apple stock. So once this feature is rolled out to everyone in Robinhood, because just like the cash management account, the fractional share trading option is a wait list. And so you may not have that option currently. Once that is rolled out to everyone, then you will have that ability to buy fractional shares within the Robinhood app. This is also a feature that many of the other free investment apps already have available. And not only the free investment apps, the three apps that I just mentioned, when I talked about other investment apps that also have cash management, but now even the big investment companies like Charles Schwab and Fidelity, they actually have the option for fractional share trading. And so these two large companies that previously never had free trading and never had fractional share trading, they now both actually have the option to trade for free and to buy fractional shares. 
And with those companies, there is no wait list. You already have that option if you have a Charles Schwab account or if you have a Fidelity account. But with Robinhood, you may still be on a waiting list if you're waiting on fractional share trading. And so this is another feature where Robinhood could have been a leader and provided this option, but they've waited several months to roll this feature out to all of their users. And some people are still on a waiting list for this feature. And what is the cost of being on that waiting list? If you were to use another platform that actually has fractional share trading available, think about if you wanted to buy Apple stock. Let's say you were only able to afford to invest $100 every month, or let's say every pay period. That means in order to invest in Apple, which is currently around $250, you would need to wait at least three pay periods before you could actually invest your cash into Apple stock. And so if you were able to invest $100 every pay period and your pay period is a week, then you would have to wait three weeks. If it's every two weeks, you would have to wait a month and a half. If you got paid every month and you're only able to invest $100 a month, then you would have to wait three whole months just to get in Apple stock. And that's assuming that the price of Apple does not change. Because over the past year and a half, Apple stock has actually doubled in value. And so you could be chasing a particular stock for weeks, if not months, if not years, if you have to wait to buy a full share. Now, of course, there are other companies out there who their stock are less than $250 a share, but there are also companies like Amazon where their stock is actually over $1,000 per share, actually $2,000 per share. And so having the ability to invest in fractional shares allows you to invest your $100 or however much money you have to invest immediately as soon as you have that cash available. And so that's why investing in fractional shares and having that feature available through the Robinhood app is so important. Now the next feature that's not as important, but is a really nice feature to have is a DRIP account. Now a DRIP stands for Dividend Reinvestment Plan. And so essentially, if you own a stock like Apple that pays a dividend, every time that they pay their dividend, Apple pays a quarterly dividend, but there are some companies that pay it either annually, semi-annually, quarterly, or maybe even monthly. And so with an account that has the drip option, when that company pays their dividend, you can actually have that dividend instead of being paid in cash and put into your savings account or your cash management account. It can actually be reinvested, meaning you're automatically buying fractional shares of that stock by reinvesting it via the drip account. And so larger investment firms like Charles Schwab and Fidelity, E-Trade, TD Ameritrade, these are features that they've had for many years. But with some of these newer free investment apps, you actually never had that option. And so the only option that you actually had before Robinhood announced that they were gonna have it with their account was with M1 Finance. And with M1 Finance, while it is not the traditional drip account that you would have with a larger firm like Charles Schwab, Fidelity, or TD Ameritrade, this is actually a really cool option because what they have with M1 Finance is called a pie. And so every stock that you have within your pie, which could be one stock up to 100 different stocks, when you receive a dividend, it goes into your cash management account. And once that cash account is over $10, that $10 or maybe a higher, if you set a higher threshold, is automatically reinvested into all of the stocks within your pie. And so while it's not a traditional drip account, you can think of it as a drip account because you're allowed to invest any cash, including your dividends, into that account, going into the stocks that are held in your pie. And so as an example, Let's say you only had two stocks in your pie and it was Apple and Amazon. Amazon doesn't actually pay a dividend, but because you have both Apple and Amazon in your pie, whenever Apple pays your dividend, you could actually use the dividends that you receive from Apple to buy Apple and Amazon stock. Now for a traditional drip account, the dividends that you receive would only go to the stock that paid those dividends. And so with the Robinhood account, I expect that they will have a traditional drip account and that any dividends that you receive from a specific stock that you own will then be reinvested into that specific stock. But currently that is still on a wait list. That feature has not been released to anyone as far as I know. And so that is another feature that we are patiently waiting on as Robinhood users or as people who may want to use the Robinhood app, but because they don't have this feature, they have decided to use other options instead. And so if you're a user of Robinhood or maybe a potential user of Robinhood, these are three features that could potentially 
cause you to go use a, either a different app or maybe if you're already using Robinhood, make you use multiple apps or decide to move your money to another app because if one of these features are really important to you, then you wanna go to a platform that has these features available. And Robinhood has promised that these features will roll out. Some of these features have taken over a year to happen, some just a couple of months. But with the drip feature specifically, that is the oldest feature that they have mentioned. And it is also the feature that is not available yet to all of their Robinhood users. While I do see that the cash management and the fractional share trading is available to some of Robinhood's users. And so the next question would be, will these three features be enough to keep Robinhood users or to bring new users on the platform, especially with the many larger platforms like Charles Schwab, TD Ameritrade, and Fidelity, and E-Trade now offering free trading. Some of them are providing fractional share trading and they also have cash management accounts as well as many other different types of financial accounts that you can sign up for with these bigger investors. And that's not even counting the many other free investment apps that are out there. However, just like Tesla being the first car that you think about whenever someone mentions an electric car, Robinhood is the first investment app that you think of when you think about free trading and when you think about the current majority demographic of millennials and Gen Z that are in the workforce. So for those that currently use Robinhood, let me know what you think and let me know if you are currently off the wait list and you're already using your cash management, your free trading app, or if you're a person that has access to the Drip account already, let us know in the comments below. If these are features that aren't worth the wait, what other investment platforms are you currently using and why? So let us know in the comments below. I really appreciate you taking this time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.